and we're back yo welcome back to the schmo down run back so many backs baby back ribs we're in here yo my name is sober ryu with shinjuku station podcasting you're watching live over on youtube.com slash shinjuku station so many stations anyway we're back in it for another episode of the schmo down movie trivia schmo down let's 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 get it right let's say it proper and in this episode, we're watching another singles match that aired on June 16th, 2017. It is Josh McCougar, the wild man, versus Drew McWaney, man. I've been waiting for this. The machine, uh, let's see, I, as I've always been quoting um, McCougar, man, the wingman versus hard drive. It's the battle of mind versus sheer determination and luck and work. We're going to find out because Josh McCougar is many things. But he's the best guesser in the league. Let's go. Let's go. Can he beat Drew McWaney, the beast? I'm sorry, not the beast. The godfather. Let me fix my face. Can he do it, man? I'm excited for this match. I, You know me? I got to go with Josh. I got to go with Josh. He's the people's champ, all right? He may not be the champ with the belt on, but he's the man of the people. So we're going to go in with that. Yo, Josh McCuga. We've wasted enough time. Let's get to it. Oh, of course, as always, YouTube.com slash Collider videos. Make sure you go there. Also, go to YouTube.com slash Schmoes. No, support the men and the people that brought you the show in the first place by going there and subscribing. And also, subscribe at YouTube.com slash Collider videos, home of the movie trivia Schmodown. If you do, it helps out the show. Also, go to the original video that I'm about to do commentary on and make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And, you know, provide feedback, man. Hopefully, uh, if it's not, you know, praise for the show, then constructive criticism if you have to. But anyway, just, just your feedback. They're looking for it. So that way it helps the video to trend. And also, they're pretty good at getting back with people. So let's get it going. Enough of the shilling. Yo, has there been enough shilling this uh, this last couple of weeks? <laughs> people in the FGC, you know what I'm talking about. The fighting game community. So much shilling. Anyway, anyway, we're about to get it popping. Um, let's go Josh, let's do it on one. I like Drew McWaney, but you know, I gotta go for the boy. I gotta go for your boy, Josh McCougar. Let's see what happens. Three. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're watching this in tandem with my commentary video, you're gonna pause the original video on one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woohoo! The blow-ups. Planet's always on blast at Colliders. I don't know who I'm fighting. Oh, shit, we got package. I want somebody, but I'm here, guys. I'm here for you. I'm the wild man. The, 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 the man in pink. Just the people's middle guy. That that's right. Hang out the people's middle guy. Uh, learning to be humbled a bit. That's always good, especially it's in always good. Like this because it's always good. It'll break my heart to see Drew and lose again, time, but you know. It's about the final it's steps. Makuka time. I'm not going anywhere. I've got an appetite for it now. So, sure, this was a rough one. I'll be back next time. No, oh, I was to say, did, did, did Drew's, mic, Drew's mic stop working? <laughs> Makuga trying to do a Hadouken? It's open hands, bro. Open hands, all right? Channel the Chi, thrust it forth, all right? You'll get it one day, Makuga. You'll get it one day, all right? Down forward punch. All right, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man, this fucking cruising. Yo, McQueenie, man, don't make me feel guilty for not picking Welcome you, man. Don't point at me with that knowing finger. Oh, shit, look at that shirt. God damn, Ellis. Ellis the Star Lord. No. <laughs> oh, Star. Is gonna happen. It is a Star Lord. Let me fix my face the in the Star Wars font. Who is the God damn. That is the case with the Godfather Super having to challenge today. Josh Bakuga for nothing. Well, I'll tell for you nothing, what, it's actually no the opposite stakes. of that. It's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake. And if I would have told stakes? you two or three months ago this match was going to be happening, you're like, well, why? Is this a title match? Is, is McQueenie going to be defending the title against Makuga? What's happening? Things don't always go the way people plan. That's right. McQueenie was on a destination here to get a shot, potentially. He was on a he was on express. He was on a highway. Took an exit to go to He was on an express trip. He was on the way to be to number one, man. Myself or Bibiani at the Collider Collision, but now he's got to work his way up the ladder, man. That that didn't happen. So now McQueenie. He's on road road to Jete, man. His way back up road better than Josh Makuga to stand in his way. Who used to work at an AMPM. Josh Makuga is a guy who you just keep counting out. Did you he? never think he's going to win. And when I say understood you, I mean me. I've never bet on the guy in my entire life. Never. That's a dope-ass shirt. Yeah, this shirt's on point today. This. I, I got to say. Josh Makuga, I don't think he's going to beat McQueen. The T-Public, public, public what you doing look, to me, he's man? He's got 13 times that he's been in the arena in the single. Too big for T-Public, man. Physically. 13 times he's been here, and you never know. I mean, he's had big wins. Those shirts would fit me like a sock. 
Did he beat Andreco? We don't know. Time to lose more Somebody weight. Somebody in a mask that looked God, like damn. and sounded like Andreco. Could have been. He's beating JTE. He's that was a great moment. God, that shit was so good. Look at this guy. Yo, he, no one has better pop off than Makuga does. I swear to God. The guy has a lot of great magic tricks. Let me see. The question is what Makuga are we going to see? Is it gonna? Is he going to have that magic where he just he just barely beat Tom Dagnino? I know, man. This shit was a yeah, tight I mean, one. We don't know we're going to get the great Makuga who gets lucky on the wheel, who stumbles into fortune in round that was too. We, we thought that was too much of a Makuga sure thing. That dances. Well, what are we going to get from McQueen? We're going to see that ice cold killer that went up against the killer. Is he going to just come out to his intro and not give Kristen enough time to uh, fucking Snyder. introduce him? We'll find out. Competitors right now. Maybe he'll learn timing. Here we go. I'm feeling really good right about now. Really excited to get back into singles competition after my almost. Hope we got your terrible towel really on you, bro. Apologize to all the fans out there. I know I promised a big point total, but the wheel got me. Finstock apparently has been studying or watching movies or he's cracking the books, bro. I'm not really sure, but he showed up, and I'm ready today to show up. Okay. When all I right. was on the free for all, it really didn't bother me to lose to Andreco. That was that was fun. That that event was great. It was. That's a the man in your fucking uh, in your hilarious. weight class. Um, it's a man. Uh, oh damn! I saw Christian at the Woo. screening I went to. It was a couple of days later, and I was like, "When's the next match?" Because I went back. Oh in. shit! And more importantly, uh, yo, my man is hungry. I'm gonna be up against Snyder because the next time I have to win. I'm going up against the guy that is scary good at moving. Well, with Snyder's on his way down, hopefully you're on your way up. Most of us fear like people feel fear cockroaches or lions in the jungle They're or the alligators classics, in the swamp though. or sharks in the ocean 47 meters down. Here's what I'm saying: so I really, really <laughs> respect you, know, movie. but I want to beat him. I really want to beat him. I need that next step match. I need that respectable victory. I think Let's go, Google, Google, Google. Google is um, uh, absolutely the uh, best guy who has ever brought a wheel out for me to spin on a show. This is my leaping. <laughs> Yo, my the wheel can he confirm? This is my jump to conclusion. <laughs> Jesus. A victory in the Schmodown. Today, Drew McQueenie coming for you. That's right, Anyone man. Anyone watching who uh, would doubt Get his casket ready, bro. Better, let me just say. Um, you know, you start, you have no idea what it's going to be like to actually compete. Now I have a real sense of what it is. Watch. All right. see. The Godfather. See what you got. This is not the day of your daughter's wedding. Okay? <laughs> you are not. <laughs> no favors here. Ask you one favor. You know why? That's right. Because your daughter's not getting married. But you, sir, are losing. You kiss the camera because I knew it was you, Fredo. I knew it was you. I knew it. Oh, wingman versus hard drive. It's going to hurt to watch. See, let's go. A lot of words here, and they both they, they both respect each other. A little cautious, although I love McQueenie's uh, note there about that he thinks that Makuga is the most talented person that ever brought out the wheel to him. I think that was good. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that was a good McQueenie. one, though. Will he be that was a good one. some of his own wedding dance moves when he gets introduced? Well, Mark, these are two top competitors in the top ten fighting for a way to get. I missed the last one. Let me see this one right here. Line, but there needs to be a clear-cut winner. Are Let me see the stats. I am ready oh, we don't have the stats. Yeah, I am ready to go. What's the stats? Right, ladies and gentlemen, What's the jokes? time for the movie Did it do uh, The wonder I missed it last time. Did it have it? The little stat screen. Did I miss it already? Fuck me. First, representing the 80s. Yeah, the audience is doing work. Of course. You watch them just walk right out. Up two wins. One defeat. You come out when they say your name. There you go, yo. He's he's got the guns out. Oh, he did, he did. That's right, like a fine wine, Drew. Like a fine wine. Good shit. He, he, normally he's not giving fucks about intros, but he came out. He must have got a he must have caught a shellacking online. It's like Drew, please wait. Give him five seconds. <laughs> Guy yeah. will not right to the chair. The no, not no. this time. Though. Give the music time to ramp all right. up. All and right. His opponent. Uh oh. With a Here comes. I I'll give McQueenie. I'll give McQueenie three because he waited. All right. Three stars. He even did the double guns. All right. All right. He shot him up. I'm a cougar. What you gonna come out dressed as? Let's go. The pinkest of suits. Oh shit, yo, wild man, oh my god, yo, that's a great shirt. Yo, Team Public, you did it again, god damn. <laughs> Came out equipped. Yo, polish off that, yo, what happened to the Jack, though? The Captain Morgan's, oh, he's going over to the, of course, always goes to the table, always. Good shit, yo, let's shake that man's hand, let's go. 
<laughs> yo, yo, buy that shirt. Hard driving wild man. All right, let's see. Let's go. pick up the new wild man shirt at She knows no T Publix. T Publix, man. Who knew? Yo, exposed. Josh McCuga and Drew McQueen sit down, get ready to battle. Mark, tell them how round number one works. I'm afraid to say how round one works because I'm afraid I'm going to get interrupted by a dance. But I'm going to go ahead. Yo, Ellis' shirt though is the best. Is it in round one? Each competitor and the field in general will receive oh, eight God. questions from eight different movie categories. As soon as you hear the question, begin writing down the answer on your whiteboard. And when we ask you to reveal your answer, please show the whiteboard to the cameras at the same time you verbalize it into the microphone. Each question is worth one point. There's obviously no stealing and there's no penalty for missing a question in All right. round one. All right. So, Josh McCuga, are you ready? Always. Drew McQueenie, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Now let's get ready. I'm to never ready. Shmoda. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get hype. Okay, here we go. Round number let's one. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. In the category Ooh, get them boards of... ready. He scares me a little. Not going to lie. He just gave me this look and then raised his eyebrow. Ah. Turn this way. He's like, he's like Hans Gruber in that. <laughs> right? I can't look him in that. <laughs> no, Yo, a true villain. Wrong. All right. Yeah. Here we go. First category of dramas. All right. Who plays the title role in 1939? Oh, man. Smith goes to Washington. Yo, Jimmy Stewart. We that I'm Jimmy Stewart. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Williamsburg, Virginia? Who sounds like Jimmy Stewart? No, but I'd like to unintentionally, um, what's her name? Three. Fucking, uh, I'll never forget Two. this. One pen's down. Oh, she's a, she's a senator. Incorrect. No. Oh, that, that would be Jimmy Stewart. That's Thank you. He was on. Um, oh my yeah, God! It's so gonna, I'm right. gonna kick my ass. Standing there talking in the filibuster. There we go. That's a terrible Jimmy. Star. All right, shut up, Broca. It's pretty bad. Question. It's pretty bad. <laughs> From the world of fantasy sci-fi. Elizabeth Warren, Senator Christian Elizabeth, Bale Elizabeth Bale Warren, sounds John like. Connor in which Terminator film? I was just talking about that movie today. It's Terminator uh, Salvation. Boy, yeah, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren that. sounds like Jimmy Stewart. Asked a different question. Just That's close your eyes and listen to her. You'll laugh. All right, you'll laugh. I like you, man. I like you. You're, I like you. You're a good guy. Stop counting. You can come on this set. I like you. I like you. You're unprofessional at best. Salvation, baby. That's better than this, Jimmy Stewart. That's really good. Uh, Terminator Salvation. Yeah, who could forget? Salvation. That's correct. Thank you. All right, there we go. Good, good shit. Good shit, fellas. The, the neck crowd, and neck. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. No applause. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right, next, next category. They were fighting for you. you gotta build up the hype, bro. Animated films. Get them answers. In Disney's Aladdin, what was the name of the monkey? I think there's a monkey in the studio. Uh, maybe it's the only one. A boo, man. A boo, son. A B U. A boo. They're both gonna get it wrong. Let's just face it. Animation is just left, five, left to the three, desert in this competition, three, except for like five people. Two, one pens down, please. Who's gonna get it? Kuga. Carl the monkey. Carl the monkey is from Friends. That is incorrect. No. That is Marcel. No, I have just a question mark. Wow. Oh. All right. We we're looking for Abu. Thank Abu. you. Abu. Thank you. Christ Jesus. All right. All right. Can Next people get animation uh, right? In the world. Late to the party won't let me down. Quotes. I fucking know it. Name the movie. <laughs> Please don't. Featuring the quote, greed for lack of a better word is, is good. Is good. Uh, that would be uh, Wall Street. That would be Michael Douglas. That would be Gordon Gecko. Who are we dealing with all of a sudden? No, I'm not on movie games. It really is. It is called Rug. One pens down, please, Drew. Wall Street. That's correct. Thank you. Wall Street. Good shit. Good shit. Back in the game. Back in the game, fellas. Three, two here. All right. Matt Riley. Five. Number five. A boo with a chance for Josh to get caught up. film marks the first appearance of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow? Iron Man 2. Which we just found out today that uh, has a secret cameo by Peter Parker in the movie. Remember the kid that Iron Man saved who was wearing the Iron Man mask and the and the and the and the gauntlet? That was uh, Peter Parker as a as a child. They just revealed that today in uh, some some press junket with Tom Holland. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank God. Iron Man too. I knew McWinnie would know that shit. Not a movie has significance. Next category from the world of horror thriller. Let's go. Who starred as the male lead in the 2005 supernatural thriller White Noise? That would be Michael Keaton. I have one of those machines. Did I a white noise machine? Does, Does it work? Sometimes, I think I get deeper sleep. Oh, yeah, it, it, messed up dreams. Yeah. Wow. Messed up dreams. Four, My AC is white three, noise, bro. Ten, two, one pens down. Homer, that knocks me the I'm fuck sure out. With Patrick Wilson. Nope. No. Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Thank correct. you, bro. Yes. 
Yes! Yes! Let's go, wild man! Let's go! All right, next question here. Next question. Fucking, he knows his key. Comedies. Name the movie from the description. A family determined to get their young daughter oh, shit. to the finals of a beauty pageant take a cross-country trip in their Volkswagen bus. That'd be Little Miss Sunshine. Never been in a Volkswagen bus, you? Not a bus. Old one. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's a Yo, classic bugs, bro. Yeah, I mean, the new ones are just there for show. Little right? Miss Sunshine, yeah, goddamn it. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Drew. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine. Correct. Super Freak, Little Miss Sunshine. That's yeah, correct. Man, all right, all right, all right. Five, Good five, shit. And your final Keep it tight. Here, Mark. All right. Fun fact, Josh McCuga has not missed a question yes, since that Jimmy Stewart. He has missed some questions. Never mind. In the world of <laughs> 80s movies. <laughs> Movies made in the 1980s. All right. Which comedy features an EM50 urban assault vehicle, a road trip into Czechoslovakia, and yeah. the oh, Aunt Jemima, Jemima treatment? treatment. Wait, can, sorry, can you repeat that question? I that is a use That's of the one. JT rule, and that is perfectly legal. Oh, fuck. What it, it was, uh, features, what is the category, though? Uh, 80s movies. 80s movies. What comedy features an EM50 urban assault vehicle, Spies like a us. road trip into Czechoslovakia, and the Aunt Jemima treatment. I'm probably wrong, but it's, I want to say it's spies like us. I still can't get over. He's, you know, quoting Alex the monkey. Nice guy. Five, four, three, two, one. Macoos. Spies like us? Incorrect. Fuck. That was my guess. Stripes. That's, and that's the fact, Jack. That's, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> retakes the lead here. Six to five, though. Macoos. Oh, I had to eat shit on that one. Six five going Damn. to round number two. Come on, girl. Josh, you got this, baby. You got this. I fucked that question up. Don't you worry. You got this, baby. Come on. Hated and beloved by competitors and fans alike. The wheel has 12 categories. Damn, I totally forgot that with stripes. Your spin lands on. You must answer four questions from that movie. That's a good movie, too, man. I haven't seen that in ages. It's been the first time you are awarded one mulligan, which is a golfing term for a do-over. Whatever lands on, you must answer those four questions. Each question. Is worth two points. If you're not a mulligan answer, like Richard? You can check to multiple you're talking about empty nest? point, the value of the question goes down to one. There's no penalty for missing a question. That was However, obscure as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Stream. I'm sorry. And please keep in mind, competitors, that the man, the legend, Charlie Sheen, is on the wheel. Whoa! Oh, right, shit. Drew, Drew, please, God, don't land on that. One, a one point lead. Oh, Maku could probably get all the answers, so. All right. Damn, Maku, Maku, come on, McQueenie. McQueenie, please. Always go wild first. Man. Wild man. What an outfit the wild man who there. helped build oh, that oh, oh. wheel with his Pittsburgh brawn. <laughs> Brain and emails mostly. Hold it in. <laughs> oh, oh he is. Yeah. Animated so movies and family films right next again. to each other. Yo, that's that's a pit. That is a uh, that is a pitfall for anybody who lands in it. Playing the bass there. <laughs> He's looking for Charlie. Dad, the There's some really tough categories oh, on there. Oh, Could one more, one more. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. That was good. So there's no um. I guess they both decided not to have a uh, opponent's choice or uh, spinner's choice on the bill. So Josh, in the category of sports movies, on a scale of one to ten, how confident are you in your sports ability? Uh, well, I made varsity sports and uh, like swimming and golf, which aren't really considered like the manly. I'm just saying, I'm pretty good at sports. I just asked for a number. Are you? Give it a three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your first question. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was too excited. I, you know what? Ask me that. No, you know what? Just ask. Go ahead. Ask a trivia. You've question been demoted too. to a two. <laughs> your first question in the world of sports. Who played assistant coach Red Dawson in oh, 2006's fuck. We Are Marshall? I know. Oh, Red it was. Dawson, that was played by uh, Matthew Fox. Matthew, Matthew Fox, points, yeah. Josh Josh Fox, Fox, I was going to say fucking. Seven, six. What's we his name on Lost? West Virginia movie. Um, God damn question. The Thundering Herd. Marshall. That is University. true. What high school subject did Joel Edgerton's character teach? Oh, in the damn. 2011 film Science? Warrior. It's so science. It's North Hills High School, which is in Pittsburgh. We don't know. If I mean, multiple choice, dude. If you don't know. I mean, if I get multiple choice, it's like history, English, science, math. <clears throat> you might as well, man. Four, three. I, two, I think it's science. Three. Is it A, physics, B, chemistry, oh, C, shit. economics, or D, calculus? I want to say f uh, physics. Five. It's physics or chemistry. Four, I don't know which. Three. I'll go with physics. Calculus. Incorrect. Incorrect. Drew True. McQueenie for the steal. Can I hear the four choices again? You certainly may. Is it A, physics? B, chemistry, C, economics, or D, calculus? 
Uh, I'm going to go with chemistry. That is also incorrect looking for Pahizix. Pahizix, huh? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Hey, you know what? At least McWinnie didn't, didnn't scoop question, it, though. Josh. Your next question. In the 1989 movie Major League, what was the profession of Rachel Phelps prior to inheriting ownership of the Cleveland I am, Indians? I am blank on this. Profession? Yeah. Before she got, I'm guessing she was an exotic dancer. That is incorrect. Fuck. Uh, I'll go with multiple choice. You can't. You can't. He, you can't. Didn't, he didn't go with it. Yeah. Okay. So, you have to uh, guess blindly like I, he I did. Don't know. The Las Vegas showgirl. Oh, oh. Challenge that. Exotic Vegas dancer showgirl. is the exact same thing as a showgirl. Uh, there, it can be there debated. Are four choices on the multiple choice. The first yeah. choice is exotic dancer. The second is escort. Third is Las Vegas showgirl. showgirl. D is bartender. I want to challenge that. I want people up there that would agree with me that showgirl and exotic dancer are the same thing. <laughs> they show their boobs Fuck to it. crowds of men. Uh, it is. It is not. Uh, well, we, we, that's a challenge. You're challenging. Yeah, jump. Showgirls Throw it down. Fuck it. Show. Your though, challenge. And Ken, I think exotic dancers are in clubs. Uh, but hold on. Um, hold on. I, okay. Okay. Under challenge. Oh, yo. Here we go. Yo, the under challenge card is in play. All right. Look at this. Ruling is back after the challenge What's that up? Makuga put out. Denied. And we are going to award Makuga. What? Oh, All right. I can't even Fight for your fucking points, bro. Fight for them shits. Showgirl more than Josh Makuga. Yeah. I'd like to meet that person. Nine, Thank you. My nine fiance points. is in the crowd. Thanks, Mark. Nine points. <laughs> nine points there. So now Makuga actually was able to overturn. He still keeps his challenge. All right. Final question. Your next question, Josh. What Talladega Nights actor? Also oh, that would be um, in John C. Riley. John C. Riley, bro. All day. I, I know it's. He barely, he's barely in the movie, but it's John C. Riley. Come on. Um, John C. Uh, Riley. Is it Gary Cole? No, man. Fucking. Multiple choice. John C. Riley? Yeah. Two points. Two points you know, Danny. Drew needed those points, but you know, Josh used all the points. Even though he was right? able to overturn that challenge. That's right. That really sucks. hurt. All right, so now. We go to Drew McQueen, nope. who is going to be spinning. Give it a big spin. Please. Oh, so Josh, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet, bro. You got this. Man, you you got this. McQueenie could spin Last something horrible. All right. Yeah. Uh, let him spin family fucking films. All right. Movies. He spins. Comic, well, comic movies, movies, and he's Almost staying. Good. That's also pretty good. He is staying. Good. Maybe he's not. He's not. He, he, yeah, sure. Gonna stay with yeah, sure. He's, he's, not, not, he's right. not thrilled. Man, you only covered his shit. But he's gonna stick with it. All right, here we go. Someone's breathing heavy in the mic. You are up first. Drew, in 1978, Superman, how did Pa Kent die? Heart attack. Uh, heart attack. That's correct for two yeah. points. It's one of the few things Superman right. can't save somebody from. At least not at the age in that he was. Spider-Man 3, who played Gwen Stacy? Oh, da Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. That's correct for two yeah. more points. Hold on. All right, here we go. In X-Men. First X-Men. X-Men. Not X-Men. X-Men. In X Men First Class, <laughs> what university do, 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 do. did Charles Xavier graduate? From? I want to say Harvard, Oxford. That's correct. That's Two it. more points Two for McQueen. And your final question. Final question. In Iron Man, in which casino was Tony supposed to accept his award? Caesar's Palace. Um. Oh, is that the Mirage? But I believe it's Caesar's Palace. I do not. Uh, can, let me go to multiple choice. Thank you, bro. A, the Palazzo. Nope. B, Caesar's Palace. Yep. Oh, is it either that or MGM, MGM Grand? Grand. D, the it's Caesar's Palace, though. I'm going to go with MGM Grand. It's incorrect. Kruger. Caesar's? That's correct for one. Thank oh, goodness. Right. Wow. Good 14, shit. That makes all the now, fucking difference, bro. Round. Yeah. He only has a four point lead. But the steal that he did in the second round really helped there. You know, that's uh, what I'm afraid right, of is that the mics will pick up my breathing. <laughs> so three. I've learned throughout this the years of podcasting to, to of keep my breathing Barring away from the mic. Each competitor is it's something that you learn. Numbers ranging from one I have shallow breathing too, so to it's easy for me to go. Up here. The first just, you receive is see, just a jet stream come out my nose into the mic. It's it's something you don't notice if someone brings it up to you. Mr. McWinnie, you it's are tough to bring up the people, right though, because so people can your your be self-conscious about it. I've had to bring it up to my co-host on, on the podcast I do, and too. Nine. 11, 2, and 9. Josh McCuga. 16, 3, 4. 
seen three and four. Montana Farm, and I'm not sure the yeah, other one. This is where Josh McCuga has been. The only way you know is if you're Josh wearing headphones, and unfortunately, both of them the are not wearing headphones. The question is, can he do it again? He has to go first to avoid the knockout. He's going to go with question number from category number 16. Category 16, I missed the numbers, but which he went with 16 first. Good shit, Makuka. Actresses. Oh, oh man. Right. Ooh, this right, is this go. is anyone's game right here. Let's go. Besides Anne Hathaway, who was nominated for an Oscar in Les Mis? Hugh, Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman. For two points, Josh Ooh, Good shit. He got to do his, uh, his uh, accent. Oh, I got yeah. to do my Aussie accent there. All right. <laughs> so that, is that <laughs> yes. Fucking high, man. All right. Fucking A. Category, in the category of comedy, category of comedy, right. in order to take the lead here over Drew. All right. That's better. In the category of comedy. Who played the Russian doctor delivering a baby in the Hugh Grant? Oh, Robin Williams. Nine months. Robin Williams. Come on. I've never seen it, but I know this. <laughs> it's Robin Williams, man. Please get this. Five. You will kick yourself if you don't get this. What? Sorry. Who played the Russian doctor delivering a baby in the Hugh Grant comedy? Suck it out the ether, man. You're so good at this shit. You got it. I'm channeling my Robin Williams to you. Martin Short. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. All right, so it comes down to this. Damn it. Josh McCuga does not hit this five-pointer. Drew McQueen. Effectively, McQueen would have to miss. KO. Get the first question to miss the other two to, to do this. Holiday movies. Holiday movies. I like Christmas. Who played Tim Allen's boss at the toy company? Just Reynolds? Santa Claus. Oh, fuck. I don't remember. Punch you in the <laughs> Who played his boss in the toy company? Son of a Santa bitch. I want to say it's Judge Reinhold, but I know that's wrong. Four, I know that's fucking wrong. Three, Phil Hartman. No. And your nah. winner! By Damn. Way of technical knockout, hey, yo, McWinny got a win, though. McWinny got a win again, man. Two, Feels like a man. Good shit. Good shit. The Godfather. Was Peter Boyle. Peter, Peter Boyle? Boyle? Oh, no! That's a Yo, Frank! Oh it's my fight, God! Fight here, Yo, Ray Romano's pops! Oh my attack, goodness! Only the classic that guy. TKO Josh Makuga here, and we're going to hear from Emma Five, who's talking to both Makuga. Well played, Makuka. Well played. What's up, movie trivia You did your best. Emma Fife here with the Godfather, Drew McQueenie. With a classic with Star another Wars shirt. Big win. Nice comeback, sir. McQueenie, baby. I do say so myself. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Uh, it was it was fun to go up against Josh. Uh, I am ready now to move on. I am hoping that Christian puts Jeff Snyder down quickly so that I get another shot at him immediately. <laughs> oh, I hope so too. But whoever it is next, I'm ready. Dude, okay, he's well, like a shark waiting for his Snyder. prey. I really hope that, uh, he's that waiting to gobble up Jeff as soon as he falls down the ladder. I see. Let's be real. I, look, I, I think I went into that. Uh, Just I, keep I winning, man. Did not treat it seriously, and that was my fault. I should have treated it seriously. Focus. Next time I will. And I don't know is not an answer you want to give when you're in the hot seat, man. Throw anything out there. I need to do that myself. Started to take the schmo down all, all, all over more seriously? One of the things that I, I really first thought this was, was some bullshit, but sure. then he realized I I he took that L. Working on. And, I, and then he and got I salty. I think it's very telling. Like, I think there's a reason for it. So, I have a strategy now. I think I'm going to be a little stronger at the next couple, and we'll mm -hmm. see what happens. All right. I don't know if you want to reveal this to our viewers, but chance. what's, what's oh, one of your oh, weak spots oh, that you're no, not on? a chance. Oh, he's got I a weak spot, like baby. I'm pretty oh, sure shit. the other competitors know where this channel is, so <laughs> no, I don't think so. But, yeah. <laughs> Yo, right, touche. Well said. Enough. Well, uh, congratulations. It's not a bad sure record so far, 3-1. against Makuga. I mean, th this today is is the Drew McWeeny that we've all come to know and love here Makuga struggles with that with that. That win loss record next, so uh, hard. I think that they should be. Hope scared, he wins his next match. Quite though, honestly, man. I, I feel like the Godfather is back. Is there anyone else besides you know the potential of Jeff Snyder that you really want to take down? Look, I I really enjoyed the free for all. I thought the way that last round went down was great. I have no problem with the way Mark won, but with the way he beat that round right, of people. Right. Yeah, knocked you but guys all out. I absolutely want a piece of Andreco. 
Oh, oh yeah. I just think for the sake of fun, oh. he and I have known each other so long. The record really, is pretty really pretty close. Yeah, and Draco is a strong competitor yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Draco's a good got, match. I think he's what, uh, two one possibly. Any interest in teaming up two, with two, someone uh, and getting in on some uh, Schmodown team I don't know the record's action. offhand. I need to look it up. Um, I think you know, I think I would need somebody who's more of a showman than I am. All right. I, I think okay. that would be important. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to be the machine. Sure. It's kind of the machine. Right. I think somebody else. Oh shit! We doing this? Like you're like the brains of the operation. Are we fucking doing this? Somebody else is out there talking all the smack. I like it. I need a hype man. I, I would love to see that, Drew. Wait, wait, wait. So, wild uh, Man and Hard Drive? No, hard Drive and Wild Man? Oh, no. Things from you here in the movie trivia show. Oh, shit. We I are doing sure. this. And we'll be right back with the. Shout out to Hunter Slash 13. He told me to watch out for the end of this episode. We're Something back happens. With Josh McCuga. Yo, Hard Drive right. and Wild really Man? Really oh, match, shit. Man. I'm excited. I did. I, you know, the. the when I didn't get yeah, gonna, John C. Riley, let the I, powers combine. I love Days of Thunder, and I can't tell you where he is in that movie. I like, oh, totally wow, forgot he's that in he was the pit crew. Because I didn't. Feel, I feel like John Ry John C. Riley didn't really explode onto the scene until like 95. 96. He didn't. Right. Yeah, but, not until like I mean, Boogie Nights. Man, and then he. I mean, he went on a bender there. The fact that he even stole those last that last point. Yeah, was gigantic. That was definitely yeah. definitely a big steal. A he's seven a, he's seven a man. That's, that's, that's a good series he of numbers right there. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Seven and seven. You'll see that. Yeah, exactly. And he he earns that nickname. He does, he does. How are you feeling going into the match today? Because I, he was coming off of a loss. No, yeah, like, uh, he's human. I, When he first got in the league, I was like, he, he's not a man, he's a machine. Right. That's the reverse of Rocky right. Four. Uh oh. But he he was a man, you know, he, he lost he mentioned to Snyder. Machine, I thought huh? I put up a good fight oh, against Snyder. And subtle. to be honest with you, the fact that he TKO'd me, <laughs> it hurts. But I feel like I put up a, a pretty damn good fight. My third round questions were the hardest third round questions I've ever faced, without a doubt. That like, yes, I didn't know. The, the nine months I've only seen one time, yeah. and it was like, Eighth grade, but you love romantic grade. comedies, so the man. Fact, the fact that I got that, and then Santa Claus. That I mean, five pointer. Was yeah, that, I didn't know that, that Santa Claus one. Peter Boyle. Five point yeah, question. Man, I was for sure. I didn't know who Peter Above Boyle the dome, was. bro. Everybody loves Raymond for yeah, Christ's sake. Yeah. Everybody so, loves Raymond. Yo, I mean, man, don't forget about Hulu, Frankie boy. You have competed in the singles in the showdown. Fourteen matches. I'm pretty sure, literally more than anybody else. Yeah. What's What's your plan going forward? Frankenstein's monster. Let me Let me correct myself. At this point, I've proven the fact that I can compete, but. You know, I, I'm I'm the Buffalo Bills. Is I, I get up there, I don't even get to the championship match. Fuck, I'm uh, at this point, I'm the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> I had one playoff run at one point in the entire franchise, and now I'm just meddling in the middle of the league. And I wear. You a beat a lot of people, people though, like, man. Come thank on, you now. guys, for all the support. I really appreciate it. But I think hey, it's man. time that you I. Know, Josh went from team having no support. I, my to, first to opponent getting was some an support. utter disaster. Uh, we faced first the, my first teammate. Yeah. That was right. That was awful. Utter disaster. We, don't talk about him we played the Patriots. We we got steamrolled. Like the Austin Powers waiting for the steamroll. To take me down. <laughs> it was terrible. And then he left you and is with the it's, damn Patriots it's now. Ridiculous. He's, he sucks he's though. A, he's a fair weather fan. So I'm gonna exactly find a teammate. Right. Guys, listen, if you were in a fantasy league, draft Makuga question mark. Just put me in a league question mark, team huh? if your league allows you to do that. Because I'm gonna pick a team member mm -hmm. and we are gonna be unstoppable and we are gonna take out those punks from New England. Who, one of them's from Ecuador. Oh, they'll be the knocked out by ten, sort of like top ten. But he's from Kentucky. Top ten is about to scoop them right out of their fucking spot. I'm coming for him. Toss team, them in the garbage team. can. Fourteen matches in the single. If somebody wants to call slash me 13, out, I, singles, heard, I know you I'll heard me. Anybody. But until then, I'm gonna get a partner <laughs> and take some people out in the team. What do you think about that? Bro? I think that's a great good plan. Shit. I'm down good shit. That's what I'm talking about. Down to take out Who's gonna be your partner, bro? Any thoughts on who this illustrious team member might be? I wonder who. Handsome. He's gonna be funny. He's going to be entertaining, and he's, he, most importantly, he's going to know his movie trivia. Oh, well. Well, that's all. I think this sounds like a very good strategy, Josh McCuga. I cannot wait to see who you choose. Thanks, it's, Emma it's, this is There's oh. a lot of suspense and can building. I say, it's just always a pleasure being back here with you in yeah. the post -interview. Always. Always a pleasure chatting always. with you. Always. Always good to have Emma on deck. Here on TV Talk, anywhere here over that's right. the Collider. That's uh, right. <laughs> TV Talk representation. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, Josh Thanks. McCuga, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this new team strategy takes you. Now back to you, Mark and Christian. Look, n no mistake about it. You, you knew Drew was going to be calling out Snyder again, hoping that Snyder loses against That's right, him man. Because he wants to play him. Right, right. So we're going to see. Drew's on a warpath. The he beef of Snyder is growing. Snyder's, the Bibiani, <laughs> the Murals, you know, the Rokas. The beef is cooking. what he wants to do. And he's won again here today, and he's got himself back on track. As far as Makuga goes, this seems to be a pattern of Makuga. He wins one, he loses one. He, he wins, he loses. So yeah, I think that Makuga even he says so seems to teeter totter from left to right. But the team match, he definitely could use a good teammate. The damn, but, but who's the damn? T who's the teammate? We don't know who the teammate we don't know who the teammate is. But you who can still see the competitive drive in that young man. That just the desire to get up in front of a crowd and either answer movie trivia questions. I'll pop off in the crowd. 
or, or probably dance. But Drew McQueenie, on the other hand, <laughs> this is a guy that looks like he Three is hell-bent on. He's not happy being in the top ten. He wants a belt around his waist. All Let's right. see if that happens. He's 3-1 and one right now. And just a couple things for you guys to know. The first thing, something really big that's coming up soon. What is it? We've got... The guys at Late to the Party, they are... Hell yeah, dude. The it's the next episode, watching. man. And after I, I love the fact that they use, uh, they use their own boards. So then, you know what? Let's give I need to get those. You went to one of those underground fights where they all Pepper park the cars and turn on their headlights. They came to the free for -all. Question mark. Oh, no. The free -for -all, and then they started... We, we, we found Yo, Tim, man, you can't be going into the match with not knowing Pepper Potts. Play, and Team Action said that they are going to play... The Team Action. The party. They challenged them, they, and then it looked like... That it looked like Robert Meyer Burnett was going to play one of the guys in Tim Franco, but he couldn't do it. And now, Matt you know, Robert, man, what happened? A singles debut against this kid. So these are these are fans match at now. Matt Achity, really man. The first fans you know, it's fair though. They're both they're both their debut a lot of matches, so that's good. Fans come up to the big leagues. Will Team Action bring their moms and allow them to actually answer the movie trivia questions this time? All right, we'll go ahead and check out the movie trivia Schmodown Facebook group. Join oh, right. right now. Check out Ken Knapsocks oh, inside yeah. Schmodown. On Facebook Live, don't sleep on Collider every Thursday, 2 p.m. and check Facebook.com slash group slash Schmodown guys. with the boys from the rundown. That is Christian Harlow. Always pin it to the Mark top. Ellis. Are we going to just go to black? But you can check the video the section. Cookie? You'll find, find it there too. After this, woo! Throw it to the fucking. Yeah, Josh McCougar here with your fantasy update. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yo, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's like his daddy lost, bro. Yo, his hero. His hero lost, man. <laughs> I know, I know. It, was, it was a tough Yo, match. Cody, I, I fought pretty good. Thanks, man. I mean, listen, guys. If you have Cody be killing it. You might be taking a little break from singles, but look at <laughs> the team. If you man, have come McQueen, on, bro. If you have McQueen, don't be discouraged, you know, man. Hey, man. It's all right. It's, yeah. Dude, it's serious. I really lost you right now, John. <laughs> <laughs> Can Cody be your partner, man? I know I did. Uh, Coach I Cody, did. man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Nice to have the support Yo, hurt, of the skinny kid. It really does. You don't have to cry, man. You don't have to cry. It's all I do. You don't have to cry. It's all I do. It's okay. Yo, all I want is all I want is Tom. Yeah, guys, it's Tom Holland. A sensitive soul. They come into the studio there, and them two take a picture with Godfather. each other. It would be amazing. Ready, keep him if you don't. Maybe trade for him. He's a, he's a straight up trade with a. Big Get him to come play some movie trivia showdown. Let's make it happen. With a Harlow. Let's make it happen, everybody. Let's go. It's okay. It's it's. He's still crying off camera. He's still. <laughs> and he's back. That's bro. it. That's your fantasy update. I'm Josh McCuga. We'll see you next time. Damn. Dude, you have nothing to worry about. Believe me, what the, I'm what the fuck is this? I don't know trivia, but I know scheming and talking shit. And I'm going to be in your corner, and that's all that matters. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I've been planning this thing for months. Christian Harloff doesn't have a fucking clue. Not even the Schmodown rundown with all their theories. They're not going to see it coming. It's going to blow people's minds. What no, the fuck is this? Trust me. Just trust me. Yo, is that, is that Ricky? Hey, what the fuck? Yo, it's Rick. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, it's Rick, man. Yo, Ricky's scheming. Guys, if you like oh, this video, shit. Click the thumbs Yo, Ricky's up, up to no fucking also, good. make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ricky, we'll please. Stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider. Good game, man. Good game. God damn, another good episode, man. Fun, another fun ep. Thank you guys for uh, producing yet again another great episode of the Schmodown, man. Yo, look at that. The poster's right there. Yeah, McCougar versus McWaney. Yo, props to Brian Ward as always on Twitter, man. Look up Brian Ward. He makes the great posters. Yo, there's another McWaney joint right there. He lost that one. He's still salty about that shit. Still salty. Don't worry. He'll be back. McWaney will be back. He'll get his revenge. I can't wait. But, um, that's, uh... That was a great episode. Um, unfortunately, Josh lost. So yet again, I lost another speculation. I love the underdog, man. I usually gonna root for them. I'm sorry. Sometimes my my, my choices are not based on logic. You know, if anything, I know McWeeny had lost the last. Uh, he lost like the last two, I think. Our last. We last. We lost one or two. I, I think he just lost his last one. But um, for him to lose, yeah, he lost the last match, but he won this one. So uh, it, he has the score of three one. That's right. So um, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's good that he won that though, and I'm excited to see exactly where he goes next. So, that's cool. Um, as for Makuga, man, uh, Makuga's gonna come back stronger, man, with a teammate, and I know it's gonna be, uh, I know it's gonna be McWeeny, man. It's gonna be hard drive and wild man. Let's go! Let's go! I'm ready, ready for that shit. Let's do it. 
Um, but yeah, man, thank you guys for watching yet again another Schmodown run back with yourself with, with your boy Sober Ryu. Uh, if you like what you see, also hit the subscribe button here on youtube.com slash Shinjuku Station. And also um, hit the thumbs up if you like what you see. But more importantly, make sure you go to the original video and definitely thumbs up that video as well as leave a comment. And also um, subscribe to youtube.com slash Collider Videos. And thank you for doing so. In the meantime, uh, thank you again for watching. And we'll see you guys with the next episode of the Schmodown Run Back. I'll see you later. Peace. My God, man. Do you know what this means? This skitter's gonna be turned upside down, I tell you. Upside down. If you get on his bad side, brother, you're done for. Now, it's only a matter of time before he finds out. And when he does, no matter where he is, get ready, gentlemen, because hell's a coming. 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 What do you want? A kiss. Come on. No. Then we stay like this. Oh, all right. I suppose you do deserve some reward. Just don't try to make a habit of this. Oh, I won't. I promise. Hey, knock it off, you two. Sprite? Oh, I see. The belt stuff. I'll fix that. Oh. Darn it, Sprite. I was that close.